Humanoid Nation. So today we have Perfect Shoe Productions over here. It's been three years since we did a video together, even though this motherfucker doesn't remember. Yeah, so I don't usually remember. I don't even fucking remember what we talked about. Probably just bullshit. We just talked about bullshit and how Ben Affleck became Batman three years ago, and we were saying, like, how the fuck is Daredevil Batman? And what a segue, because we just watched Batman vs. Superman. Yeah. Oh, look how lively he is. Uh, you can tell that then we just pissed him off. But anyway, Batman, Batman v Superman was the greatest film since me. It was just fucking horrible. I, 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 I can't. It can't even. You just can't even. What, how, what do we start out with? Let's... Let's start with the fucking beginning, man. Like, the beginning. Okay. As far as I, I remember, because this movie throws so much fucking crap at you. It's almost like... Uh, What's throwing shit at the wall and see what sticks? Yeah, like, it, well, it starts... It starts with, I think, um, Ben Affleck getting... Or Bruce Wayne getting off the fucking helicopter. As Bruce Wayne... As shit is going down. Running yeah. towards the carnage. No, okay, so no, that's something that fucking Bruce Wayne slash Batman would do. Because he's like uh, that kind of character. He's, yeah, like I said, just that kind of character. Like, yeah, well, it's kind of funny saying going from Gotham to Metropolis. Metropolis. I can't say the word. Me I'm telling his helicopter <clears throat> pilot, like, yo, buddy, let's go to... Metrocity? Metrocity. <laughs> hey, yo, helicopter pilot, uh, let's go to that place where everything's getting shit destroyed. But sir, it's World War II out there. Fuck you, we're going there. I, I don't know, I, I just don't know why he didn't fucking... Uh, uh, like, I get it if he was like, already like, there. Like, he should have been like, there, driving to his building, or, or something, already in the city, not near a fucking helicopter, landing. Uh, he should have been already there. But, aside from that... He likes they, to make an entrance? Uh, that wasn't a fucking answer. <laughs> I know, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, that, was, that wasn't a fucking Bes Okay, besides that though, the opening scene was actually really good. Like, the op like it really gave you a sense of... Because like, in, 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 like, this is a continuation of Superman Man of Steel. Steel. <clears throat> Which you also did not like. <clears throat> uh, anyway, yeah, it's a continuation of Man of Steel. Uh, hey man, the internet's half and half with Man of Steel, so yeah. And so fuck, same with, like, it's almost like people are going through, like, half the people that like it, I feel like they're going through battered wife syndrome. You know, like, they just, they don't want to admit that it's kind of shit, and it kind of is shit. Um, anyway, like, the opening scene was, was phenomenal, aside from the whole him landing by a helicopter. Um, yeah, 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 like telling it, the guy in the building to get out, yet the guy still stays in there. Yeah, like everybody's fucking leaving, and like Bruce Wayne's like, get out of the fucking building, get out of the fucking building. And apparently, he really cares for this one guy who we've never been introduced to. I know, he just, he's just there. He's like, yeah, and guy? there and he's Did he even have a name? No, he kept yelling his name on the phone, and fuck, we're, I guess we're supposed to care all of a sudden. I, I, I liked how, because like in Man of Steel, you always got things from the. Superman's perspective. So him punching around Zod, doing all this destruction porn, was yeah. well, it was fun, I guess. And and but like, but when it switches to Bruce Wayne's perspective, you kind of get like the actual power in yeah. which Superman uh, he's a, he's a is capable of. You know, th this is a, this is a man who is, from what you can see, it, it is can destroy the human race if you want to. Just like that was a blink of his eye. No, well, no, not a fucking blink of a blink of his eye. As much as as much as like fucking fore foreshadowing to him being the literal manifestation of God, he is not literal. Even even though like, you know, Hack Snyder likes to fucking jerk him off like Hack Superman. Snyder? Okay, Hack Snyder. That's yeah, his yeah, name now. Yeah, that, that fucking works, okay? Hack Snyder, yeah. Mm -hmm. By the way, mm -hmm. speaking of Michael Shannon and Zod, did he not get the easiest paycheck in this movie? Oh, as a corpse? Yeah, just lay there, do nothing. Yeah, hey, where's my paycheck? Nice paycheck there, Michael Shannon. He was a corpse. Yeah, but he got paid for that. Easiest <laughs> job ever. Well, maybe, true. 
Yeah, if he got I, off easy. He, he had it easy. I, I mean, the amount of fucking CGI in that movie, they should have just fucking CGI him like, mean, whatever, make him look like fucking Shrek. You know, it doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, um, like, I, I like that. I, I remember seeing that in the trailers where it shows the deficit, like, a lot of the criticisms of the first film uh, were too much destruction porn and totally justified. And this one... But people are always complaining about destruction porn. When there's a destruction well, like, movie, it's supposed to be destruction. But it's fucking Superman, okay? We're not talking about um, Chronicle here, where it's trying to be grounded in terms of, like, in terms of what if actually people, like normal human beings... Well, how else are you going to establish it in the real world if some guy flew around with the power of a god? That would really happen. Like, I, mean, I don't know, make him destroy everything. May, maybe, maybe have him act like Superman. How about that? But the thing is, when Man of Steel came out, he just started, so he's not the no, 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 Boy no, no, Scout no, no, that no, he no. is yet. He no, takes... no, 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 no. That is, that is no excuse. He didn't just, he didn't land on planet Earth at... at he that... didn't have the suit yet. He didn't know what he was doing until he got the suit. No, no. Then he started doing shit. No, he... Okay, aside from his powers and his abilities, he should know in terms of who he is as a human being. Uh, I get that he's like, oh, he's a tortured soul. He's not a fucking tortured soul. Okay? In Zack Snyder's world, he is. Because that Zack Snyder, he's, he's the Frank Miller of films, in my opinion. He's just missing boobies. Well, yeah, and making everybody a whore. Yeah. A anyway. Um, pro yeah, Frank Miller directed this. Lois Lane would be a, such a whore. True. Uh, anyway, back to um, Batman v Superman. It would just... Um, I like it. I like it how they actually incorporated that opening scene and the one of the subplots. And by the way, there is fucking so many I can't even fucking remember. Too many to remember. Yeah, like what? What had more subplots? This movie or the Amazing Spider-Man Two? What? What had more subplots? This movie or the Amazing Spider-Man Two? The Amazing Spider-Man 2 had more focus, and that is saying a lot. Yeah. Like, it, ha it, it has tons more focus than, than this film. This film feels so fucking all over the place. You know, like, uh, one minute Superman's in character, one minute Superman's out of character, one minute fucking Batman's in character, one minute Batman's out of character. They're... Uh, fucking dream sequences. Dream sequences within fucking dream sequences. But that's been going on since the dawn of movies. There's always dream, dream sequences. Se dream sequences within... Like, in a, in a superhero film, especially a well-established comic book franchise that has been around for fucking decades that everybody knows about, no, you don't fucking throw that shit in there. You don't... You, uh, you don't fucking piss in my fucking tea and call it Peach tea or some line that everybody keeps quoting. Um, I never uh, heard of that quote, but okay. It, it was in the movie. Were, were you half asleep? In well, the it's Batman versus Superman, man. Dude, it wasn't good. It wasn't great. It was just mad. So half the shit I can't remember. But like, but like, at least I remember some of the shit. I mean, any, anyway, um, it was just a jumbled mess. Um, but every, yeah, every, 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 everybody's motivations were barely there. I mean, some can argue that, oh, you know, Batman uh, slash Batman slash Bruce Wayne's uh, motivations was um, the Metropolis incident, and I'm like, hey, I can kind of see it. I mean, well, he's been being Batman for years, and he's seen so much shit that this just sent him over the edge. No, 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 no. See that? That's not what set him over the edge. What set him over the edge is that dumb fucking dream sequence. With the Flash inside it, which I didn't know it was the oh, Flash. Oh yeah, fucking spoiler alert. Um, well, this is the, a spoiler the, the, movie. The 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 dreams. The we dream. are spoiling the entire movie anyway, because we started with the beginning, like the guy dies and shit. So yeah. What? You, like never mind. Okay, the guy. What? The guy in the building in the beginning died. The, the dude died. Yeah, I know. Yeah, so it's gonna be a spoiler review. That's what I'm saying. Because we just talk, talked about that, but yeah, it's not the dream was in a dream. It's not significant, though. That's the thing. Like, I'm not talking about that. We're just I, I, okay. Never mind. Yeah, the flash in there. I thought that was Bruce Wayne inside his own dream. 
No, dude. It, it was not. Yeah, no. The, their whole like this whole movie felt like fucking Spider-Man 2's race to fucking try and build a damn franchise, but on speed and crack. It's like a, on this trailer, how they described it, like Batman versus Superman, rush to the Justice League. Uh, I haven't seen that. You haven't seen that one? No. Oh, huh. it's pretty good though. Um, but yeah, it was just, it was a jumbled fucking mess. There, okay, there was this character that we are supposed to care about, we don't care about because we don't give a shit. We don't give a shit about some dude who dies in a building. Thousands upon thousands of people died before him in other buildings that fucking Superman plowed through. Um, whatever. Anyway. Um, the buildings go down like 9-11, just like 9-11. Yes, yes. I bet you there's tons of conspiracy theories. Oh, that couldn't have happened. Superman couldn't have done that. The beams don't melt. <laughs> oh, fuck that shit. It's Superman, though. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. Ben Affleck is Batman. That kind of surprised me. You did a really good job, though. No, I'm like, honestly, as soon as I saw the teaser trailer, I was on board. Like, as soon as I saw the first teaser trailer, I was like, yeah, he can pull it off. You know, he he can do it. Yeah. All, all they have to do is get the um, the choreography for Batman's combat uh, down right. I don't know if they would, like, I was wondering if they would do a Nolan, most likely. I thought they were going to do, like, a Nolan-esque uh, type of combat style. But it's more gritty, like actually, like what are you? No, doing well, like do? the one thing that okay, the one thing that Hatch Matter can do very well is combat, like fight scenes, chore like choreographed fight scenes. That's where he has the imagination. You know, you look at Three Hundred, you look at Watchmen; they're all fantastic. Never seen Watchmen. You never seen fucking. Because I'm not a Watchmen fan. You don't, what? See, Watchmen is a kind of okay. Anyway, the cure chore. Choreography. The chore choreography, the fight scenes between Batman and the henchmen were very Arkham. And I love that. Like, he was very creative. He wasn't just simply hand-to-hand -hand combat and the henchmen stand off to the side while they're holding guns and all they do is hit Batman with a yeah. gun. No, shoot like, the guy, but they... Yeah, no, him. like in this movie, they, like, they fucking shoot at him, but Batman is... Actually fighting like a like Batman like Arkham creative and yeah and like very uh, just cool and fun. it's like an older version of Batman since he is in his well, no, no, yeah because no, no, he's no. gotten older because he has gray hairs going on no, age aside I'm talking about like the the choreography of Batman himself like yeah it was very I'm just say even as an old Batman he still has it down well yeah dude he's even sorry to fucking he has a lot of practice though sorry to fucking quote quote like the whole entire internet but. He, I am Batman. That, that's who he is. He, he is did, Batman. Yeah, anything that he does, his explanation is, I'm Batman. There you go. That's all you fucking need. Yeah. Um, except, except for the voice, because they actually gave an explanation about his voice. They didn't do a Christian Bale where he was like, I'm Batman. Well, they actually explained it in the scene with Jeremy Irons saying like, Hey, what's wrong with you? Your voice modifier is, in, is working fine. Well, yeah. Like, and you can tell that they were just telling that to the fans to explain it to them. It's like, see, we explained this shit to you. Now, shut up. Yeah, like I, I like the voice modulator modulator thing. And so he doesn't sound like he has marbles in his mouth. Yeah, like I don't think they needed to go over the out of the way to fully like explain it, but it was it was nice. It was it actually was nice that they explained it because like so many people were saying like from the trailer like, what is up with his voice? But see that thing, and out of all the things they could have explained, and could have actually flushed out and made made sense, that was the one thing that they did. They didn't explain how Clark Kent knows who Batman is, or how, um... What? Like, you don't think he can, like, look through his mask? Because, dude... Plus, he uh, heard him, like, when he was at the party, like, when no, he, Bruce Wayne was doing he, that he, whole spy shit. He, like, so you, Clark you, Kent was hearing all this in his ears, so he put two and two together. No, you don't put two and two together out of the Like, back. who else is going to do that besides Batman? Anybody else in fucking Gotham? Anybody else in, 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 the, in the entire world? Just because they live in a, like a certain location isn't an excuse to put two and two together. And in terms of uh, using his x-ray vision or trying to use that oh x-ray vision, he looked through his thing. I'm like, Batman is smart enough to use a lead lining um, cowl or some sort of something like that. Like, 
not only that, like, they didn't even explain that, like, how fucking Lex Luthor knew who Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent was. Remember, these are two characters... Wait, that, hold on a sec. Lex Luthor knew that Bruce Wayne was Batman? You didn't? Yes, dude. When? When was this? He explains it while he's explaining it to fucking oh, Superman. I, okay, I wasn't paying attention. Because Jesse Eisenberg just talks and talks. Because he oh makes it okay Lex Luthor, but he's not he very... Didn't. Like Lex, okay. If Lex Luthor, like someone like Kevin Spacey, was talking, then I would like listen to all of it. But Jesse Eisenberg doing this shit, like he's so out of place. He is. He is literally. I, I was afraid that, like, when I first saw him, in, in um, I think it was the second. No, was it the second trailer? I don't know. When he was officially like on the screen in terms of the trailers, I was assuming like, okay, so Jesse Eisenberg. Right now, is playing Jesse Eisenberg. Shit. I seriously thought Jesse Eisenberg would do a good job at Lex Luthor because he's gotten away from the awkwardness. And you think he, because like, he has played some awkward characters. In the past, no, but he's gotten only, away from that's that. That's only fucking. He's like the Pauly Shore. But he has gotten Dude, away from he, the awkwardness. He play, Pauly Shore plays Pauly Shore. Like when I, I saw him in Now You See Me, he was kind of a friend in that because he was like serious as fucking that shit. But then he's not like that in this movie. Mm, you do make a good point about that. Um, but yeah, you saw him in How Now You See Me. That guy, he was he was, was not to be fucked with in that movie. Well, a little bit, but he was serious in that movie. Anyway, anyway, um, I, I thought in the trailer that okay, I thought I'm like okay, he's playing Jesse Eisenberg. Jesse Luther. Fuck. He's playing Jesse Eisenberg in the trailer in public. I was thinking, like, once he gets behind closed doors, or once he, like, reveals his true nature, he's gonna get all serious and methodical and menacing. Like Lex Luthor would do like, it. Like, fucking like Lex Luthor. I'm like, okay, okay, maybe he's, like, doing a dual kind of personality thing, you know. But, mmm, I was so wrong. Yeah. I'd rather, I rather have Brian Cranston as Lex Luthor because he was, like, originally supposed to be him. Wait, what? You know Walter White? Yes, I'm aware of the character. Brian Cranston. Was originally supposed to well, be... Well, he was supposed... To, well, one of the many, but he would be a perfect person to play Lex Luthor. Actually, yeah. Yeah, he would have been... He would have been fantastic. Uh, anyway. Um, Gal Gadot, or whatever her name is, Gal Gadot. The, the, the hot chick. The hot chick. Wonder Woman. She did... She was okay, but she could have been... She... You could have cut her shit out, and she would not have done anything in this movie. You could you could have cut out a lot of crap. And yet, people are still complaining about her boobs. Well, what about her fucking tits? Because people are saying like Wonder Woman, she has huge tits. She has small tits. You do realize that? Yeah, you do. Book, right? Yeah, you do realize that it's a fucking comic book. Everybody has tits and fucking uh, zero. Like what's waist. her name? The original Wonder Woman from the seventies who played her. She didn't have huge tits. She had sweet ass looking to it, but not as big. Alright. Get off your fat ass. Shut up. Really? Keep on talking about Gal Gadot. I'm gonna get some water. Mm, go. We're talking about her tits and shit. It's first. The first is real. Alright, well, fucking hot pants over here and get some water. Gal Gadot. She did a very good job as Wonder Woman when she was Wonder Woman. The fight scenes were good and all that kind of stuff, and the, especially when she got um, the fight scene between Doomsday and her, when she got knocked back and she did this kind of like smile and pause, like, okay, this shit is for real. I'm kind of like, she she knows she's up for a challenge. And I I liked that little bit. I liked her fight scenes, but uh, she was didn't need to be there. A lot up of things, until the end, probably because she could. No, 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 no. Fuck, fuck that. Because she could have been a surprise at the end. They didn't like Dude, show her in the you, trailers. You, you, no. See, no, I'm just saying they, they never showed her in the trailers and then just saved it until the movie. Like they're getting their asses kicked no, no, by no, Doomsday. They, they and only, then they only, Wonder Woman shows up. The people would have gone nuts. No, the thing is, like everybody knew Wonder Woman was going to show up because like it was talked about two years ago before even the trailer was even announced. Uh, or yeah, but still, them. don't show her the trailer because we want to be at least surprised. Come on, this is fucking Warner Bros. They don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah, obviously. When it comes to DC movies, oh my god, 
the animated ver movies, on the other hand, they're pretty awesome. Well, see, that's the fucked up thing. Like, I've watched the Marvel Marvel animated films, and I've watched the DC films. Majority of the DC film, animated films are amazing. Like, well, not amazing, but really, really good. And yet, the majority of the animated films from Marvel are absolute trash. And yet, it's the flip when it comes to the theatrical versions. Like, uh, I, I just don't get it. They have so much source material to draw from in terms of this fucking movie. They're referencing so m See, that's the thing. That's the problem. They're referencing so much source material, but they're not actually fucking using any of it. Because they well, put too much crap in this movie. Like, they're, they're referencing The Dark Knight Returns with the fucking power armor, and they're referencing... Um, just, they're referencing Flashpoint Paradox, kind of. Or not Flashpoint Paradox, sorry. Um, Injustice, kind of. What happened in Injustice? Uh, inju in the video game? Oh, okay. I never played that game. Eh, the storyline is pretty good. Anyway, um, and they're referencing Flashpoint Paradox with the time travel stuff. But they're not really using it. Like, let's talk about the fight scene between fucking Batman v Superman here, which is the title of the fucking movie. By the way, the shortest fight ever. The, the original title of the movie was actually Dawn of Justice, Batman v Superman. Dawn of Justice was the literal um, title. And Dawn of, or, um, Batman v Superman was then the actual subtitle at some point. And then they, then they switched it up. Like that, then, yeah, movie. then they switched it up. The fight scene. <laughs> yeah. You you sit. Through. The Dark Knight Returns, the animated version when he took on Superman in that metal armor, took longer than this movie. Oh yeah, dude, it took it took way longer. Like hell, uh, one armed Green Arrow was in that fight, wasn't he? In the cartoon well, version. Well, like b besides that point, you know. Um, uh, fuck, what was I gonna say? Uh, the fight scene. This is a two and a two and a half hour movie that should have focused on the ide ideologies of Batman and Superman because they well, they have to kind of drag it out. It's like if it went no, more than that. that. But like I said, there's so much more that you could have done that would have been more entertaining. Um, the 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 subplot, uh, one of the subplots where uh, the senator, whatever her name is. Is trying to um, really question Superman's motives. Well, not Superman's motives. Um, do like the question is, do we need a Superman? Uh, like uh, she didn't ask it, but um, there was a, a section where she was getting interviewed, and the guy asked her that question, and that is such a, a compelling question. Yet it never gets explored. Do we need a Superman? You know. But you got, and then you got like the whole Senate scene where or whatever Superman goes before the Senate or some sort of governing body, and you don't, you get the feeling that like Superman's gonna be set up. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't because he's leaning on a guy in a wheelchair. Well, like yeah, that's that's something like the building. That must have pissed you off, didn't it? Well, yeah, it did. It did immensely. Like, like okay, the building blows up and Superman's kind of like. Well, he's Superman, so it doesn't phase him. So he just like kind of he sits. just looks around, like what just happened here? Well, no, like he knows what just happened, and he knows that that it's been done, and their countless lives have been just lost, and he is literally standing in the epicenter of it. That would be devastating. Like, like his look was great. Like it looked great, and I'm like, okay, so now they're going to try. And angle this to make it seem like it was Superman's fault. Superman's doing. He did it, but no, he didn't. No, and, and like literally in um, the other scene, the next scene after, it just simply explained away. Like the dude in the wheelchair had some fucking, some fucking acne TNT in his chair and blew up the whole place. I'm like, wow, what a great wasted opportunity hack. Yeah. Man. Thank you for that. You could have really set up some really, really compelling, you know, com you know, some sort of conflict that would have worked, that would have dro driven Superman to actually legitly kind of like truly oust Superman as, as, a, as a person, but nope, 
Just sweep that away. Yeah. Yeah. So that pissed you off. You know what pissed me off? What? The fact that Batman is a full-on murders people in this movie. He doesn't murder everybody. He murders a lot of people, though. Like, it's like, yeah, like he was like getting machine. He machine gun some motherfuckers in this movie from the bat plane. Yeah, and I'm like, and from the bat car, Batmobile, where like he's shooting at the. He like destroys half a truck, and I'm pretty sure like the other truck. Was, well, okay, okay, here's what happens. He fucking T bones a, a car. And the car fucking explodes. And there is no way anybody survives that. Like, it, it is straight up fucking just... Even in the movie verse, they'll say, like, hey, just go with it. But come on, this is goddamn Batman we're talking about. And, and then when, when that happened, like, did they, just, did, did they just really do that? Are you trying to fucking... If it was any other movie, like Fast and the Furious, and they did that, I was like, yeah, I'll go with it, even though I know Oh, I'm sorry. No, no. Fast and the Furious... That's the only time a car would literally blow up and they would just have like some scratches. Yeah. And some. But I was just saying, like, some, like yeah, that's what happened and you and expect that because you're like, yeah, of course they survived that, but this is Batman we're talking about. He doesn't flat out kill people. Yeah, no. He like beats them up, breaks their neck, does shit to them, but never kills them. Yeah, like. Like it's just. Well, in the comic book, people say he they. No, he killed people. Uh, again, it all depends on the fucking writer. But. In terms of Batman as a whole, his whole, his whole, his whole kind of way he functions is justice, and justice, and, and like that under the Red Hood movie where like Robin as Red Hood wants Batman to kill the Joker in front of him, and Batman doesn't do it. Well, well, it's not that he wants to kill the Joker in front of him. It's just. Um, uh, I was gonna say, um, it's just he does bring up a good question. How many people has the Joker actually? Like lives have ended. Countless, count, countless, yeah. countless, countless lives have ended. Um, even That's understandable, more, but yeah, Batman still doesn't go that way. Like, yeah, like, like, like in Batman's, he in, has opportunities to do it, but he won't do it. Yeah, in Batman's, in Batman's uh, point of view. He, uh, in Batman's way, he's always riding that fucking line of like... Yeah, he's always riding that line, but in yeah, movie, like, he doesn't care, he doesn't even flinch. Yeah, it's just so... He doesn't even go like, oh no, I just killed someone, it's like, no! See, and what, okay, here's what it, where it would have made sense for Batman to actually kill. Um, okay, he's grizzled and old, which, which was there. Because yeah. it's in the version where like... Robin's already dead because the Joker Yeah, yeah, Robin's already dead, and he's pretty much, um, and super, super fucking jaded. Like, super, just like... He's almost at the point of Peter Weller style from The Dark Knight Returns. Uh... Almost there, but not there yet. Yeah, like, but like, all it could have done is some simple fucking dialogue via Alfred, by the way. Alfred in the comics and in the entire lore... It's supposed to be like the anchor, uh, like a father figure. Not a father figure. Come on, he's like he's a not father a fucking. Figure. He gives father. out wisdom. He's lived to, always there as a father figure. Even Batman says. He, he, he's Bruce he, Wayne always says like, oh, I always looked up to you. No, he he is more in terms of a very very. He is family. He's yeah. family, but like but a father. Not figure. A father I, figure. I don't know which one do you think is right, me or him? Tell us. I don't know, but yeah, like. Father figure style. Jeremy Irons did not do any of this. He just played Jeremy Irons. There's no chemistry between him and Bruce. Yeah. But like, well, I, he didn't I, even butler in this movie. He was just there. Well, no. What, what, what the fuck you think he was gonna come down his tuxedo and hand him some? Well, Alfred tim- always did that. Borscht. You know. At least wear a suit or something. Well, no. Like, that, okay, this is that. Dude, Superman's like in his fucking fifties. Or or mid forties, early forties, or whatever. But oh, anyway, Alfred told him it's like I'm too old for your shit, sir. But anyway, my my point is like, all it would have taken is some simple dialogue, most likely from Alfred, um, to kind of like, dude, lecture the fucking guy and kill him, like, or explain that Batman's gotten to the point where he just doesn't care anymore. Yeah, they could have done that at least. Like, give some explanation, because then that would have worked. It would have worked. Yes, it, it it doesn't follow the comics, but it wasn't explained. That's the problem with this movie. 
is that nothing is explained. Everything just happens. Everything is... A s th okay, this isn't a movie. This is a series of scenes. Yeah. Series of barely connected scenes. Barely connected. Um, everything was poor. Like, in terms of how everything was going on, mo most of it was poorly written. Um, Jesse Eisenberg had no oh, motivation. Oh God, Jesse Eisenberg. Jesse Eisenberg had no motivation in terms of the Lex Luthor character. If he had any motivation, it was so shrouded in fucking God this, God that. I want to be God. No, I hate God. Kind of, kind of pseudo. Trying to be smart talk. You know. Yeah. By the way, how the fuck do people in Metropolis still don't know that Clark Kent Superman says in Man of Steel? He clearly was Superman from day one, and then later on he shows up with glasses. What do you mean? It was like Lois Lane, he recognized him right away with glasses and was out. I don't know, it just didn't make what, sense. What, what are you talking about? People in Metropolis don't know that Clark Kent is Superman. Dude, my Man of Steel? Clark Kent, the character, in terms of uh, the Daily Planet, the news guy, didn't he show up into the end of the movie? Yes, I know. But still, people already know what Superman looks like, and then he shows up at the end with his glasses and shit. But I don't know, Superman never did make sense with that whole using glasses as your cover. Mm, no, it kind of... It, 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 you, you'd be surprised how a little... a few changes would actually do that. Well, I'm talking about Christopher Reeves' version, he actually played like a dork. Well, yeah. Yeah, because when he's Superman, he's Superman, but in the movie... Clark Kent and Superman are pretty much the same person. Like, they don't act differently. Well, that's the thing. We don't really get to see uh, how Clark Kent really acts as Clark Kent the reporter. But, yeah, you see him at work and shit, and people don't put We, we see him at work for, like, fucking three minutes. Like, um... And Morpheus doesn't put two and two together. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, besides the point, it's just... Doesn't even question, like, hey, where the hell's Clark at when Superman's out doing something? Oh, I just... I don't know, that just bothered me a little bit, but that's always bothered me, the whole Superman thing. Mm. But since they're trying to do a real-life version greedy thing, I don't, would that even pass? Because, like, yeah, I understand Superman no. turns in the other movies are, like, all comic booky. y hey, Honestly, I, I think, yeah, like, if we had a Superman character, and, like, in reality, let's say not Superman, but, like, something similar, you know, and then you had the Clark Kent with glasses and suit and everything, I think there would be a lot of people that wouldn't be able to put two and two together. At most, people would say they just look similar. Yeah. You know? because, like I said, he's, Clark Kent always like did this dorky thing where like he's always tripping and doing stupid things. But that, that's like the 1970s. Yeah. Like, Hell, even Superman Returns, they did that. And like one time in the movie, like it's like, does not, doesn't Clark Kent look like Superman? And then they look at Clark and he's like waving at them all goofy like, it's like, hey! It's like, nah, I can't be. Yeah, but the thing is like, we don't see Clark Kent as Clark Kent in this film. Yeah, like, true. Very little, very little. You know, um, I don't know, I just, I, just, I, I know what they were trying to fucking do. It's just, it, it was bad. Yeah. They, 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 they were trying to fucking clash ideologies, but... Both characters were incredibly hypocritical, and I know that was not intentional. Right. You know, that was not intentional at all. Marfa Kent, though, Diane Lane still looks fine after all these years. That lady, my God. She uh, will forever look fine, even as an old lady. Yeah. I, I, I've never really, like, I like my Lois Lane to be... I'm talking about Marfa Kent. Mar His mom. Diane Lane. Martha you, Kent. You, you the one who got kidnapped. Yes. yes. Okay. Let's back this up a bit. You think she's hot? Diane Lane, man. It's Diane Lane. So Have you not seen her so, in her younger days? So you'd fuck that? Yes, because it's Diane Lane. Have you not seen young Diane Lane? She still has it, though. Um, I, I, we're at old Diane Lane 
right now. Well, the old Diane Lane we're not, still we're looks... We're not the Flash. We can't go back in fucking time. Oh, no. Di old Diane Lane now still looks good. Like Meryl Streep. But I still, I still tap it because it's Diane Lane, man. God damn. But speaking of Martha Kent, I did not put two and two together that both Bruce Wayne and Clark Kent both have the same name for their mothers. No, honestly, I think, like, most people didn't put that together unless, like... The really die-hard fans. Probably die-hard fans, because, yeah, that like, sure surprised me when he goes, like, Martha. I was like, where'd you hear that name? I'm like, oh, my God. They both yeah, it, it, it's just like one of those, like, oh, yeah. I was like, yeah, they do. It was like, and that's how they stopped fighting. Yeah, because they were just oh beating shit out of each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, let's not, let's not fucking, you know. And then they're all of a sudden buddy-buddy after that. It's like, yeah, sorry for beating the crap out of you. Pre-fight, Bat or sorry, Superman's trying to explain to Batman, "Hey, let's not fucking do this. My mom need your help." Um, well, before he said that, Batman just sucker punches him. I don't think he sucker. No, I'm pretty sure he just lands and starts talking. Yeah. Yeah, but before he said oh, anything. Oh no, no. Okay, what happens is the machine guns on the side or no, something. No. He lands. He starts talking, and then he triggers the first trap. Yeah. And then he tries to finish. Then he triggers the second trap. He activates his fucking laser eyes and destroys them. And then... And Batman has this look of, oh, fuck, what did I just do? Well, no, Batman... No, there was a point in the movie where, like, Superman goes through all that shit and then he has this look on his face and Batman has this look of, oh, fuck. No, Batman would have known right away that the, the machine guns and the sonic gun or whatever the fuck he had would not stop Superman. I think, I think, at first I thought, I was like, okay, Batman's trying to test, sort of like test Batman's limitations. Okay, I kind of get that. It's very Batman-esque. And then, and then that whole assumption was just immediately fucking dashed by, I think, Batman got shoved just simply shoved by Superman or, or something. And then I'm like, really? Really? You you didn't have like some sort of backup plan or follow up? Yeah, you up? see this Batman, he's not, he's a good Batman, but he's not that bad man because Batman is always just one step ahead of people. Okay. He's always one step ahead of everybody. Well, that, that's the thing. That, that's what kind of equalizes him and kind of makes him a worthy part of the Justice League yeah. is that he's supposed to be this super genius, super methodical character who, in all honesty, if you're smart enough and you prepare enough, you are no amount of superpower aside from getting your head straightly punched off uh, is going to stop you from, you know, the bat or right. whatever. Anyway. So that's done with. Now we get to the part where, like, we get to meet, what did you call him, like, the Ninja Turtle? Oh. Um, Down Syndrome Ninja Turtle? Down Syndrome Ninja Turtle. Yeah, he did. Whatever his name is, I forget. Um, Doomsday. 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 Yeah. Doomsday, Doomsday, why do they have Doomsday? They spoiled it in the trailers, though, but yeah. E even if they didn't fucking spoil it in the trailers, I'd be like, really? Really? Are you going with Doomsday already in the first movie? Because Doomsday is the one that kills Superman. Yeah, like, like, re like, as soon, like, honestly, if they didn't even spoil it in the trailers, everybody would still react the same way. Like, fucking Christ! Like, really? Like you? That's you, somebody you say for like the third or second, second or third movie. Yeah, like, honestly, I, I know. Okay, I know. Um, Warner Brothers couldn't afford afford to do this. Because it's really way too late in the superhero game for them to do a Marvel and do every individual movie to set up a Justice League. Well, they are doing that now. No, they're not. Yes, they are, because they're doing a... Do you, know what Just, do you know when Justice League is slated to be released? 2018? No, 2017. Okay, 2017, and then other movies that are after that, like The Flash comes out in 2020. But the thing Wonder is, Woman, but the, thing is like, shit, the Green Lantern Corps. But, but the thing is, like... They, I don't they're, they're, know. They're the reverse Marvel phase, because they're doing everything before the goddamn movie. 
The, okay, the reason I think the main reason why they're doing it because like the thing with I mean Warner, after the movie they're doing everything after the movie. Well, the thing with, like with W like Warner Brothers is they're so money focused. You know. Yep. Money focused. That's what they are. And it's a WB man. What do you expect? <sighs> yeah, it's just w- but yeah, Tuesday like yeah. And the, it's like Superman and Wonder Woman are the only ones that did anything. Like Batman just stood there doing nothing. He like ran away. But yeah, to he, make Batman do something at least. Well, well, that's the thing. Like, what are you gonna make Batman fucking do? Well, try and do something. Like, figure out how to do something. Not just stand there on the side. Cause like See, the, 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 a tr- the real Batman would have done something. Not just stand there. Like, oh my god, I can't do nothing. Cause like, yeah, Batman knows he has no fucking powers, but he still can kick some ass. See, but the thing with Batman, with Batman is. Doomsday should not be a character paired with it just Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman. Doomsday is a character that should be strictly Superman only. Because, to be honest, in the comics, uh, Doomsday shows up. Yeah. Fucks up the Justice League. Of course, because he's Doomsday. And then he slowly makes his way to Metropolis. I can't remember if uh, Superman's out in space at this point. That's why, uh, like, fucking... What's it called? Uh, Justice League is getting fucked up. Oh, okay. um, And then Superman shows up while he's, like, in Metropolis. And then they fight. And they both kill each other. Right. But, uh, anyway. See, this is something that should have been a Superman-only character. Yeah. You don't, you don't throw him in... With throw a new guy at it, like you don't throw him in with uh, Wonder Woman, Superman, and Batman. You just don't. You want like the thing with Batman in terms of his combat ability, he always faces characters that are not Superman level of fucking Superman level of in terms of power and ability. Right. Because you know what happens? Batman gets his shit kicked out of him if that would happen. What is your roommate listening to, anyway? He's not listening to anything. He's fucking talking with his little boyfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, what you were saying, Batman? Batman would get the shit kicked out of him, and then he would come back with a plan. Yeah, of course. That's what he does. That's what he does. But, like I said, Doomsday did not have to be in this movie. Wonder Woman did not have to be in this movie. I would even argue Lex Luthor, in terms of how the plot went, didn't need Unless to be Unless they the replace him with someone else. Well, no, I'm talking about plot. Yeah. I'm not talking about Lex Luthor. Oh, yeah, I see what you're talking about now. Like, Lex Luthor, in terms of plot, in terms of his, his the way he was written, his motivations, had no purpose. Right. You know, like, uh, it was just... All right, so yeah, that's basically it. But how about the ending, where they did a whole X-Men 3 kind of ending? Yes, I'm bringing okay, up X-Men yeah. 3. Because, yeah, Superman died and shit. And then at the end, where they like they make the ground move because you know he's coming back. Can't, so can't, they did X Men Three, where like the end, the Magneto no, 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 no. gets his powers back. See, yeah, that's a good comparison. But why kill him off if you know he's gonna come back? To set up for the movies, other movies. No, you fucking know he's coming back. Can you you know he's coming back even if they didn't do it? But at least they would have the balls to keep him fucking dead yeah. until the movies came out. Hey, but we need money. We need him alive. Then don't fucking kill him. It was totally pointless. That's it like so was. It so was. Um, yeah, yeah, like they're talking about. Like I want to get in the other people that are like us. Well, like yeah, me- like metahumans and shit. Like metahumans. That, that's that, what that, they're calling that, him. Yeah, that, metahumans. That, that's what they're called in the comics. Oh, yeah, okay, I did not know that. Yeah, well, like, anybody with superpowers or any sort of powers in general that is not really alien... And the only one that's missing is the Green Lantern, because he didn't get one. You see Aquaman, Cyborg, Wonder Woman, and The Flash. Yeah, all, all this was just just a... You know, all this was just a setup for the fucking Justice League. Like, yeah. come on, man, like... This movie could have been easily... Easily... Hour and a half maybe two hours yeah. if you cut the bullshit and you just cut off the bullshit cut the bu- cut the bullshit with fucking Lex Luthor cut the bullshit with Wonder Woman even though her fight scene was great and 
she was good. Um, really do a whole different, almost a whole different plot in which reasons for Superman and Batman to go at it. Right. Um, so out and all of it, like, what would you give it out of ten? Oh my god. It, it's not the it's not the worst movie ever. It's uh, in the middle. I would solidly give it because a, a lot of it was the cinematography and 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 the, and the fight scenes with like the characters that was really well done. Um, it was competent for the most part, and I mean just competent, not great. I would give it. Um, Five Geelys out of ten. Five what? Geelys. Oh, Geelys. Five Geelys uh, out of ten. I would give it... A, a, a seven if you were to do Jersey Girl. You know what? And, and, a, and a ten if you were to do... Uh, um, oh, do you know that... What? Speaking of this movie, before I give it my rating, Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, you know what beat this movie as the worst movie? No. This movie beat out. You know what this movie beat out? Mm -hmm. Paul Blart Mall Cop. <laughs> that's it's a bad memory of Superman beat that, out Paul Mart Paul Blart. That's 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 pretty bad. Yeah. So out of out of ten, I'll give this movie a four point five. Grease con con Congrats. No, hold on, hold on. A four point five grease chews out of ten. Con congratulations, Happy Madison Productions. You're not as shit as Batman v Superman. <laughs> oh god, the day it has happened. <laughs> Alright, anyways, this is Perfect Shoot Productions, and I'm the Humanoid Freak. Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Bye.